What are the internal forces? Axial or normal force, shear force, bending moment, and torsional moment. An object subjected to external loads will have internal forces. Objects can have multiple types of internal forces at the same time. However, any object can be subjected to a certain amount of load before it breaks or fails. Let's start with axial force. It is a force that acts parallel to the length of an object and can shorten or elongate the object. If the force presses the object, it will be called compression. And if it stretches the object, it is called tension. There are elements that can only take tension load, such as elastic bands or cables, that do not have any compressive capacity. Examples of structural members with axial force are truss cords, lateral braces, or columns. Let me explain shear through an example. Let's assume that we have a concrete beam that is supported at its both ends. If we apply a load perpendicular to the length of this beam, the applied force will transfer through the member to reach the support points. This traveling internal force is called shear. Engineers use graphs called shear diagrams to read the various values of shear along the length of the member. Shear links in concrete beams or columns will increase the section capacity to transfer shear forces. Bending moment is produced when applied forces on an object cause it to bend, which is resisted by a coupled action between compression and tension forces inside the section. When an object bends, one face of the object goes into tension and gets longer, and the opposite face will go into compression and gets shorter. Like shear force diagrams, engineers use moment diagrams to read the various values of bending moment along the length of the member. To illustrate moment and shear forces better, let's place a wood stick on two supports and push the middle down. This applied external load will create shear force and bending moment in the stick. Torsional moment happens when an object is twisted by a twisting force. A structural member can be in torsion if an eccentric load is applied in a way that causes the member's cross-section to rotate. Well, that was it for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day or night.